happening right now. Toyota making an announcement about the future of its battery plant that's being built in Liberty. Let's listen in live. Uh, it's been an exciting, exciting experience today, and we invite you today um, to let you know that we're really excited to have you here. And if you look at this slide right here, no matter which site you go to at Toyota, we always start with a purpose, a vision, a mission, and a direction that we're going. And obviously, we want to build sustainable mobility solutions. And uh, won't read every single one of these, but our values are heavily ingrained in the Toyota way of continuous improvement and respect for people. And our mission, we want to eventually be the best in town. That's how we want to start. But we also want to be the global leaders as it relates to battery manufacturing. So that's who we are and where we're going, where we're going as a company. And if you click this one more, no, wait, wait, yeah. great. I got to wait for a second because the... The ta-da is about to happen. <laughs> so thank you for coming today. We're very, very excited. We've been very, very busy at this site. We've been here now doing uh, construction for over a year. On average, we have about 1,700 construction workers here. Uh, we're very, very happy that we are on schedule. And you'll get to learn a lot about that later, I hope, about our schedule and how we're doing. Uh, we're really excited about the progress. Our safety record is impeccable. It's the best safety record of any startup that we've ever had at Toyota. Safety is our number one priority, and we're really excited about that. But now for the star of the show, we know why you really, really, really came here. And it's this very, very special announcement that we'd like to make. And let's go ahead and start with that video. Hello. Hold on, we'll get this volume going here in a second. Hold on, let me pause it. I don't know what I did. That's okay. Your laptop's right there. Mr. Slick, just to clarify, you said 1,700 construction workers on average on the site. Here, every day. Yes, sir. How many? 1,700. Yes, Mike, sir. Mike, help me. And uh, with that, with that 1,700, that number will probably go up uh, to a little over 2,000 per day now that we're inside the buildings. So we've got three buildings now that are completely enclosed. Um, these two buildings that you see here, we have a hybrid building. There it is. And that's the all electric building. So there it goes. Three buildings are dry in. Yes. That's, Sorry that's about dry. that. All right. We're okay, get this now, video now we can get it. I don't, you don't get charged about that. Woo! Hey, uh, don't know if you caught that. I hope you caught that. But to reiterate, we're announcing the Toyota North Carolina will invest up to $8 billion additional dollars at our manufacturing facility, which includes eight additional battery lines with PHEV or plug-in hybrid capability. Uh, this will also include an additional three thousand team members which gets our total up to five thousand team members we're really excited about that that cannot happen without great partnerships uh, we have had a great partnership with the state of north carolina the foundations the leadership 
officials, et cetera, but also the local community has been wonderful for us. Um, they have embraced us and uh, we have also given back to them as well. That partnership has been amazing. I just wanted to state that. And uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you is this journey that you see here. You know, we just started this process a little over a year and a half ago, which is unbelievable. And we announced $1.2 billion, which we thought was pretty significant, with the four hybrid lines. And then we had a second announcement. In addition to that, we had our million dollar give back that we mentioned earlier about our educational grants for North Carolina A&T and communities and schools. And oh, by the way, we had another announcement that we had in May 2023, which totaled 5.9 billion, which gave us four hybrid lines and two all electric battery lines. And now for the big announcement today, the cumulative total of $13.9 billion, 5,000 jobs, four hybrid lines and 10 electric line, all bad lines, and also our plug-in hybrids. And we're also announcing another additional $200,000 in community grants. We're really excited about the progress that we're making. Our company, along with the state of North Carolina, has put the trust in this innovative facility. And uh, we're really excited about this bright future that we have. So now I'll open it up to any questions that you all may have. So, yes, sir. Um, what's happened between May and October for you all to take on this much more ambitious? Is it something you're seeing in the industry globally in terms of demand? Yes, and I hope everybody can hear the question. So I don't know if I need to repeat or not. Everybody can hear. Okay. It's a great question. And this, this investment, you can see as that journey slide shared with you, this industry, along with what we're doing as a company, continues to evolve. It supports our multi-pathway approach of having customers with options of hybrid, plug-in hybrid, ICE or combustible engine, as well as a full electric battery. So this follows right in line with our direction of making sure we support the customer demand, which we believe is a journey approach, not a one-size-fit-all. Yes. Uh, we've seen some reports. You've been listening to Sean Suggs. He is the uh, president of Toyota North Carolina and uh, the company building this huge battery facility there in Liberty. And uh, the big news today, more than doubling the investment and effectively more than doubling the number of jobs. Now up to a total about 5,000 jobs. Uh, total investment, $13.9 billion. A huge investment in uh, the Piedmont Triad and all of North Carolina. Fox 8's Floriana Boardman also there for the announcement. We'll be checking with her for a live report coming up later at